Hey, what's going on, fam? My name is Lamar Tyler. I'm the creator and founder of Traffic, Sales, and Profit. We help entrepreneurs do three things, drive more traffic, convert more sales, and grow the amount of profit in your businesses, right? And there's a lot of conversation, a lot of different things going on. Um, not even a lot, right? It's, it's, it's more than, I don't know, what's more than a lot, y'all? Y'all let me know, more than a lot. A different conversations going on. And one of the things that's been in the forefront over the last 24 to 48 hours is, um, you know, a lot of people saying, I'm not down with um, coaches, that aren't, um, you know, supporting the things I'm, I'm supporting. They're not down with my interests. They're not down with companies, whether it's software applications that are not supporting what I'm supporting. So what I wanted to do is bring to the forefront some of the individuals in this group uh, that have software platforms that you guys may want to look into. Amazing opportunities, amazing people, and we want to share them with you guys today. Hey, do me a favor. As y'all coming in, I see people coming into the room. Uh, do me a favor. Drop your name. Drop where you're from. Um, drop your business name if you want into the chat. And then make sure you also tag some folks. This is a great community conversation that we should be having. I'm excited about it. Uh, we'll make sure it goes out to our YouTube channel and everywhere else. Um, and then I got an exciting announcement for you at the end of this thing as well. Um, but like I said, y'all guys say, hey, I'm looking for something else. And, and just, again, to give you perspective, you know, a lot of the things that you may be looking at, talking about moving from one piece of next software, if the reasons you're looking at moving, you'll probably run into the same issues again. It's so like I said, we want to give you guys something different. Um, both these individuals we've actually exposed and shared with the actual community before, so some of you uh, uh, will recognize them, right? They won't be strangers to you, but we want to make sure we get it back in. Monte, what's up? Thanks for joining. Um, thank you all for tagging some folks. See you tagging some people, getting them in as well. All right, let me tell you who we got today. We got number one, Samuel Genus. He's the founder of YouShare360.com, which provides an all-in-one CRM platform. Entrepreneurs can use to manage all their contacts, email campaigns, marketing funnels, automation, websites, e-commerce, billing, blogs, tasks, projects, and teams, right? Uh, he's in the building today. He's going to come with us in just a second. And then also we got my guy Justin Burns. He's the go-to authority when it comes to online selling success in the digital age. Not only is he the brains behind the best-selling digital marketing book on the expert code, he's also the founder of Maestro, an online course creation platform that allows you to create stunning online courses with the fastest and easiest all-in-one platform available and broadcast it to the world in just a matter of minutes. Uh, TSP family, please join me and welcome me into today's conversation, Samuel and Justin. What's going on, fellas? How's it going? How's it going? Thanks for having us. What's going on? What's going on? Appreciate you having me. Excellent. No problem, man. So I'm glad y'all are here on such short notice, right? It's a conversation we wanted to pull together real quick. Um, because I wanted people to know, you know, I, I saw a conversation where people talking about, hey, you know, I'm, I'm jumping ship. I'm not using this software. I'm not using that software. And I saw other people say, well, there are no black companies that, that create software. Um, and I said, hold up, right? I do know a few, right? So let, let's have a conversation about it. Um, and first, right, this is a question for each of you. And then um, I'm going to ask you first, Samuel, and then I want you to tell me um, – uh, about your software, and then uh, once Samuel's done, uh, Justin, I'm gonna come to you. I want you to answer the same question. Tell about your software. Have you ever heard that that question or assumption before, Samuel, that there are no black companies that actually create software? Um, yes, I've actually I've actually uh, heard that, and um, I was one of the people who said that. <laughs> 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 All right, and, and you were the founder of um, You Shared 360. Tell us a little bit about You Shared 360. So it's basically it's a uh, it's a business management software. Um, it's basically uh, designed to help small businesses, solopreneurs manage every stage of their business. So it's designed to help them at the stage they are now, and then at the business owner they need to become. You know, two, three, five years from now. So it helps them manage all their contacts, uh, websites, email campaigns, marketing funnels. Um, you know, uh, projects and teams. <clears throat> Awesome, awesome. And um, you shared 360, right? Um, we'll talk about this a little bit later, but you got a beta release coming June 15th, so right around the corner. Um, but yeah. it is actually available now. People can sign up and get on the list, right? Yes, yeah. They can just go to the website. Uh, we're moving from you know back office 1.0 to back office 2.0, uh, so they can go to the website now and just basically join the list and uh, and, and basically you know help us pound on the software to you know help us perfect it. I love it. And then Justin, let me ask you the same question. Have you heard, is that like a common misconception that there are no, no black software companies out there? Is that something you heard before? Maybe you haven't. And then tell us a little bit about Maestro as well. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I'd be rich for every statement if I ever heard that. Um, <laughs> you know, everybody, you know, thinks there's not really a lot of black founders. And while it's limited, um, you know, we do exist. We, we, we are out there. So, 
Um, and uh, our company, Maestro, is a platform for experts to host their online courses, their membership sites. And um, also, you know, um, we just recently uh, revamped everything, which I know we'll talk about. And uh, I'm excited. So we actually help people to host their courses, their trainings, and also build landing pages as well. All right. I love it. Um, so, guys, I see we got people coming into the chat already. If you got questions for these guys, this is like an open kind of conversation. So I got multiple people on. If you got questions for them, do me a favor. Just drop them down to the comments below. Uh, we'll get to them. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, I got some questions for you as well. Samuel, like, like what made you say, I'm going to start my own software package? Was it just a need in the marketplace? Was it the fact that, hey, we need to be um, um, more represented in this area? Was it this... Um, you always wanted to create a software growing up. You were, you know, five years old in class and said, one day I'm going to own my own software. How did, how did you find this path to actually creating your own software through Ushare 360? Well, uh, just real briefly, you know, we started off basically building websites, you know, for different people. I've always been a, a developer, you know, since I was like 20 years old. Uh, but then I, on the side, I started building websites for people. And one thing led to the next. It was like you build a website for them. Then they want you to make changes. And I'm like, you know, I got to give you the ability to change this stuff yourself, you know. So hence that became, you know, a web build. And then we got into the whole digital marketing space and we realized that a website just wasn't enough. And so as we just kept filling the needs of the customer, we realized not only did they need a website, they needed opt-in pages, they needed landing pages, they needed a sales page. And it really just kind of like evolved into, um, you know, like, um, for lack of a better word, an ERP system, you know, because uh, I'm coming from like the corporate environment where it's like an enterprise, you know, uh, you know, an ERP platform where, you know, you bring in all of these department type, you know, tools and bring it into one house where businesses uh, can manage everything. And I was like, small businesses need that kind of capability without having to spend a whole lot of money to get it. I like that. And for you, Justin, was it something similar? Was it totally different? Like, how did you get to the to the area where you say, hey, you know what? I need to build my own software platform and kind of what was behind that? Yeah, mine was a little mine was a little different because I don't really have uh, development experience. Right. So so I came in, you know, a little a little blind to the tech. But um, I remember when um, my background is in copywriting. Um, and so I was a copywriter for a guy who owned a really big development technology company, um, you know, 10 developers, all type of stuff. So what happened is, is picture this, right? He's like, come with me to this tech conference. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm looking cause I'm getting burnt out writing all this copy. So, you know, he takes me to this conference and man, there was nobody that looked like me in that joint, <laughs> like, like nobody. And so you know, fast forward, we went to this, um, we went to dinner and I was the only, really the only black dude in that whole room, really. And these guys are talking about, you know, building these 50, a hundred million dollar companies. And I just, after I left out of there, I was like, I started calling everybody like, who has a platform? Who, who has this? Who has that? Who? And I couldn't find anybody that was tangible that had built that. And so I was like, let me go ahead to the promised land and try to conquer, you know, this mountain. And so, you know, from there, I just decided that it was something that I wanted, you know, to do not only for me, but for us and and really just try to tackle building something that I feel like we were left out of. I, I love yeah. that. And, um, you know, I see Ty. What's up, Ty? Going down. She said, I can so relate to that. And just I think that's <laughs> interesting because I think a lot of people think that in order to be a software company founder, you got to be Samuel, right? You got to be like a, a, a coding <laughs> expert, right? Samuel devoted a good part of his life to this thing. Um, but we, this is a great conversation because we're seeing two different ends of the spectrum here. Somebody that right. did it as a career, but said, you know what? I've been doing this for other folks. I can go out and do it for myself. And, you know, instead of making a, a fraction through salary, I'll make the, you know, the big part through equity. And then we're saying somebody else is saying, you know what? I'm not necessarily a developer, but what I can do is bring together a team of people and lead them in order to, to kind of fill a place in the marketplace and fill a need in it. Um, uh, all right, we got, some, we got some questions coming in already. All right, I got one more question for y'all. Then I'm going to jump to the questions, y'all. Make sure you get your questions down in the chat. Um, I'm, I'm going to ask y'all, like, do you feel um, like there are challenges in being a black tech founder? Or what are some of the challenges that you guys are facing? And either one of you can just jump right in. Uh, I, I jump in because I, I, I got a lot of them. 
Uh, the biggest thing is, you know, in being a tech founder, especially a black tech founder, I think it's a statistic that only around 2% or something like that of all the VC funding out there actually goes to technical black founders, which is which is something that is is just bad. So when I started off, you know, I had already kind of put the wheels in motion uh, because I had a information product business before that that funded the boat, right? But then I said, I want to go ahead and raise some money. So I went out there, put my pitch deck together, went out there, talked to people. And man, when I tell you how many, like how many doors were closed in my face and how many people, and 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 one guy even said this, and 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 I'll tell you and tell you this. One guy even asked me, Do you have? He said, It'll be better if you had a white co-founder. Wow. I mean, this is literally something he said. Um <laughs> And, and so that's just the challenge that I ran into, you know, was really, really the funding. And I realized that, you know, that we were just going to bootstrap this from the ground up. And so that was, you know, some of, partly some of the, the challenges on top of, you know, because of the fact that it's not really a lot of tech founders out there, you know, we're kind of in this boat where you try to go get help. You try to say, hey. You know, I want someone that looks like me to to mentor me and help me develop this company, right? But it's not really many of us out there. So, you know, but Justin, let me let me ask you real quick because when they told you that hey, you should go get a white guy to stand beside you, um, what did you think? Did you think like for a second was you like, man, I know a dude, <laughs> I know a dude from middle school. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he ain't got no job right now. He's just living at home. You know, I mean. <laughs> Did, did you consider it for a moment? Did you do it? You know, I mean, like, 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 you know, the people want to know. I mean, for a minute, I kind of did do the, you know, when my hand ran across and said, maybe I do know a dude that, um, you know, could, could fill it in. But I think, you know, for me, I kind of just looked at it like I'm going to build this no matter what. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I want to be the bank. I want to be the person that, you know, that builds it up and not have to necessarily just depend on VC funding. So, you know, we we pulled together our funds and 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 here we are even with the new platform we built, you know, we built that and we owned it. And that's what I wanted to also do as well because you hear those stories, right? Where this was and this wasn't even just because of what dude told me about getting the white co-founder because I did consider it for a minute. Um I'm not going to lie, but um you know, most people that you see with these big valuations and VC funding, sometimes they don't even own their company. So that was one of the things I thought about was like, how can I stay in ownership and try to move this at least along to where I could control the terms and people flock to me instead of me trying to flock to them? So that's kind of what what happened. I like it. I like it. Sam, Sammy, what are some of the, the, the challenges, as specifically as a black founder, that you've seen in the marketplace um, since launching or trying to bring the market, you share 360. Uh, for me, the for me the biggest challenge was me. Um, you know because you know remember you know I take pride in being a programmer, but switching that hat from programmer to CEO, that's probably was that probably is the most challenging of them all. You know, uh, is is making that transition because it's you know. We don't always, you know, when you're an employee, you don't always know what's going on in the boardroom. You don't really know what's going on. And sometimes one of the misconceptions that I had, you know, going in was like, OK, I'm a developer. I could build this and I can build that. And I realized that programmers are only half of the equation there. That's just like one skill set. There's this other skill set about building relationships, the CEO side of it you know, recruiting the right people, all that kind of stuff, recruiting of a talent. Um, that was pretty much foreign to me. So I, I would say that I was the biggest challenge, you know, um, and, and I would say the other biggest challenge was that I was attempting to build something that I never was really trained to actually build. Like, um, it's, it, it's, so, so like all, a lot of the applications that I've built, you know, like I've built accounting systems and things of that nature before, but moving to the web and basically taking that ERP concept and bringing it to the web, um, like, you know, I remember, I remember building the web builder for the first time. Like a lot of people think like we, we 
are like um they're like so like your wordpress i'm like no like we actually are our own wordpress like we built our own builder and i don't think a lot of people really understand like how difficult that is <laughs> you know to like you know like we hear we hear people like infusion soft and active campaign and all this stuff but you you know there's a lot that goes into it and um i would say that this was i again i was the biggest challenge because you're trying to build something that you never built before like you i've never literally did any i haven't went this far before um and and that's that was really really challenging so i had to grow as a developer i had to i had to grow as an individual i had to expand my mind and then i had to have a lot of thick skin because i'm trying to i'm trying to please the marketplace and the marketplace is not they're not they're not wimps <laughs> You know, they're going to tell you how they feel. <laughs> you got that right. Let, let me go to the, to the questions real quick. We had a few questions. The guys, even just joining us, my name is Lamar Tyler, creator and founder of Traffic, Sales, and Profit. I'm joined today by Samuel Genis. He's the founder of You Shared 360. Um, and Justin uh, Burns, he's the founder of Maestro, um, online, uh, uh, online courseware platform. Hey, um, so in the comments, I had, had a specific question for you, Samuel. Um, uh, where is it? Uh, what's up? E.B. Will said... What payment processors did you share 360 use? Stripe, PayPal, WePay, or what? They want to know what payment processors do you actually use in your platform? Do you connect? Them? Um, well, well, we um, we actually use Stripe. Um, Stripe is 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 uh, was was designed specifically for like from an API perspective. So it's um, you know when they came out with we started with PayPal at first, but then when Stripe came out, Stripe was just much easier to really uh, it had better conversions. Um, because you could stay on your site and make the conversions. You didn't have to go to PayPal site and all that. So when when we looked at all of the APIs, you know, like we was able to get Stripe up and running just like that. Um, and and they just keep on um, they keep on providing uh, the capabilities for developers, you know. Um, and that's what we needed to really uh, do the kind of stuff that, that needed to be done with our platform. <clears throat> Right, I love it. Uh, let me see what's down. What's up, Tyron? We got Tyron's on. He said, just signed up for youshare360.com. Uh, I love it. What's up, Monique? Giving Justin a shout out. Ty Goodwin says she's so excited about Maestro. Dropping the link. Uh, what's up, Kavon? Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so we got some good stuff down in the chat. All right, so so real quick, right? Um, and guys, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell everybody else, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do because again, if you're just joining us, it was a conversation here yesterday um, in the group. Everybody was talking about software, talking about founders, um, and people like, we want to go somewhere, but there are no black software companies, right? And I heard that come up once or twice in a thread. So I said, hey, I know we got two of them, at least two of them right here that are vocal in the actual community that have been to the event. So let's kind of, um, you know, bring them to the forefront so you guys can meet them. And what we're going to do is later this week, I'm going to set up um, two different times. We'll let you guys, you know, there in the audience know when. Um, so that each one of these companies can actually come and do a demo here in the group uh, for their software if they like so I'm, I'm opening up the floor to them they like they can come walk you guys through their software so you can get uh you can see it not just hear from them but actually see the software as well in action if you guys would like that live demo do me a favor um leave a comment down below in the chat type of yes in the chat right now i want to make sure we're giving you guys something that you actually want to see and that we want us to provide but if you want that we actually will give the platform here in traffic sales and private for them to walk through do a demo of their software so you can see it up close you can see it uh you know, uh, it has everything you need, right? So hopefully you can make the transition if you desire. Hey, um, Justin, let me ask you guys this while, while we're um, coming. Actually, let me see. We got a question came in from Ty. Ty says, um, if I have an idea for a platform, have mapped out the requirements, what do you recommend to find, who do you recommend, right? Or what do you recommend to find help with coding and building? And let me ask you that, Justin, because, um, you know, you had an idea and you kind of manifested this thing and made it happen through the work. Um, you know, what should Ty do, right? Do you have somewhere she should go or somebody she can connect with in order to uh, get help with the coding and the building of it? Yeah, so I would just say the first thing is that you want to kind of really get good before you even reach out to developers. You know, you want to get good at kind of UX um, design, right? That's going to save you a lot of money. Uh, I wish I had knew that up front, <laughs> but I didn't. Um, but that's the first thing. The second thing is there's, um, you know, once you kind of map out most of your stuff for software, like, you know, your ideas, what it does, uh, different things like that, then you have, you know, places like Upwork, 
um, that you can find developers, um, you know, ask around to, to different people because you'd be surprised. Like, you know, I found my like when we were rebuilding my platform, Maestro, um, you know, I was looking for three or four kind of local developers. Right. That, you know, like here. Um, and I just asked somebody I didn't even know. And I ended up finding my fourth developer um, right here in Atlanta. So, um, you know, you just got to ask around. And then you also if, if you do have the resources to kind of skip all that, then you have a you have a platform called TopTal. I think it is T O T O P T A L TopTal where you can they'll vet developers for you and different things like that. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Thanks for that. Um, I love to get a lot of yes. So yeah, it looks like y'all want to see the demos. We'll set those up. We'll let y'all know we'll do them later this week. Um, we'll get them on the calendar so they can come in, demo the software. You guys can see it up close and personal. So we'll, we'll swing back at everybody in the community and let you know. We'll post it. We'll pin it to the top of the group. So make sure you're checking the group every single day. I'm telling y'all, we got stuff coming through every day, so make sure you're checking the group every single day. Um, let me ask you guys this question real quick, right? Because um, uh, I know somebody's looking there wondering. Like, like uh, I'll start with you, Samuel, then with the same, same question to Justin. Samuel, what makes you share 360 different? So, like, besides the fact that you're a black founder, which is amazing, um, you know, what makes it different? Like, why should people be checking for um, and be signing up with UShare 360, an amazing suite of tools that it has? Um, uh, primarily is, is because of the approach that we're taking. Um, um, it, it's the, the average small business owner is basically looking for an ease of use. They're looking to like, OK, they, they're looking for easier connectivity. They're looking, they want all of their stuff in one place, you know, uh, especially the ones who are just getting started, you know, um, they, they, they want easy access. A lot of times um, sm small business owners have multiple businesses that they're working on at the same time. Our platform allows you to work on multiple businesses. If you have like, um, uh, if you have like, if you're like a type of person who does done for you services, it allows you to have collaboration so you can easily bring in other people into your account or you can easily have access to other people's accounts. Um, and our platform is designed to help you run your business. You know, so we don't really consider ourselves like a sales and management platform. We consider ourselves a business management platform. It's more than just sales. It's more than just marketing. It's about how do I run my business in an effective way? And so um, we're like, these are all this. These are all this, the tools and the steps you need to take. Like, for example, a lot of people are like, oh, I need to build a landing page. Right. But really, the first thing you need to do is plan. Right. And as Ronnie would always say, like, if you don't plan, you're planning to fail. So we're like, OK, so for us, we used to think that you know, uh, the funnel was like the biggest thing. But then we realized, no, it's a project management. Once I bring in the project management, scope it out. Now I can build a funnel. Now I can build a website. Now I can build these campaigns and things of that nature. So by us bringing it all together, it makes it easier for the business owner to map out their idea, plan it out, implement it, and then manage it and do ongoing optimization. So it's like bringing that all together just makes that whole process easier. I love it. And Justin, what makes and, Maestro? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Guess I'm Samuel. Yeah, I, I was also going to say that um, and our platform is, is actually designed to educate you along the way. We actually have a built in educational module um, and it's kind of like we're testing it all out with this whole new artificial intelligence. So there's a lot of people when they're getting into a new platform, they don't want to pause and watch a video for 40 minutes to get something done. So we realize our targeted audience is small business owners who have either not much knowledge in digital marketing or have a little bit more. And so we realized we we made the platform an educational platform as well. It's almost like live simulated training, but in the process of doing it, you're actually building your business instead of just doing stuff in theory. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, Justin, same question, man. Like what makes Maestro? You already showed me all the bells and whistles the other day, so I already know, but let the people know. <laughs> what, what makes Maestro different, right? Why should they watch they walk past all these other um, online course platforms and uh, and step up to Maestro? Yeah, so you know when I started Maestro three years ago, I mean I just wanted to have you know the whole we went through kind of a process, right, of a couple years of getting all the features in there that people wanted, and then about a year ago um, we just decided to completely revamp the whole platform. Um, my team was we, we thought thought we were crazy. Said, "Look, we're gonna pull this off. We're gonna redesign everything. We're gonna have user experience." So one of the things that we 
started to do was when we really caught up with our features and added all our features, we started surveying our customers and we started saying, you know, what are some of the things that you want? And so the biggest thing was we noticed that when people who didn't have courses canceled, it was mainly because of the fact that it wasn't the software. It was mostly the recording of the software. Right. So then we started putting our heads together and we said, what if we were one of the first platforms that allow for people to record their courses in the same platform without having to deal with all that export and all of that other junk? So we came out with the Chrome extension that allowed for people to record their courses and upload it into our platform in one click. Then we went a step further, right? Because we was like, we're not going to stop there. We got to keep going. So now we're actually in the process, especially in the next you know, 30 days or so, we're going to be rolling out the first platform that will allow for people to do lives directly in the platform in itself. And we're going to be doing some automation stuff. So we're actually building out a whole automation system that will allow for people to, because we already have things like badges, all those things in our platform, right? But what we're going to allow for people to do, because we realize that the biggest issue with course creation right now isn't the technology, right? The biggest problem is the student. You know, only 15% mm -hmm. of people complete courses, right? Mm -hmm. So we wanted to solve that big issue. And we said, well, what what will allow for people to have you know higher completion rates well it's automations if some if you know somebody came into your course and say they only completed 15 percent of your course why not be able to follow up and send them an email message right that's when we started doing that so that's about 30 days away i'm excited about that but you know um that's what makes us different we want to focus on not just the technology but how do you get people to complete your courses because it's going to allow for you to to profit even more. So there we go. That course consumption is major. Um, all right. We got last few last few questions from the um, audience. Right. What's up? Angel said this is so awesome. I've been looking into finding a platform. There we go. Glad you landed on us today. Um, Chef Nina said I've been looking for exactly. Actually, Chef Nina said wait a daggone minute, Justin. When did that happen? She said she'd been looking for something exactly. <laughs> I had to read the whole, it was like two part comment. I had to go back up to the first part. I've been looking for exactly that. Um, uh, Tanisha said, I'm so glad I landed on this live. We glad you did too, Tanisha. I'm using and have yet, have used most of the others. I'm directing my money, was looking for these tools, black owned, yes. Awesome, glad you were able to join us, uh, Tanisha, into the conversation. Um, and let me see, we had a, uh, uh, what's up, Mark? My guy Mark Gaskin said, this is dope, love maestro. Uh, Quila said, uh, uh, I guess Quila said, school, let's, let's test that part out first. Um, it's coming. 30 days is going to be there, y'all. I'm telling you, it's going to be there. It's going to be um, there. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. I had another question. Uh, we'll wrap on this one. Um, and this is a question for both of you, right? Either one, you can take it first. Uh, Conrad said, he wants to know, why did you guys um, start your companies in addition to all the other similar options out there already, right? So somebody can say, like, like and I think this is, a, this is a great question to end on. Because a lot of entrepreneurs get dismayed because they say, you know what, I can't make this. Somebody already out there is doing that, right? It's already somebody that has a course platform. It's already out there somebody that has a CRM or it's a bunch of companies. And they're they bigger than me. They got more money than me. They got 100, 200 employees. What was it, right, that made you guys say, you know what, even though there may be people out there, I have a place in this marketplace. I have a niche and something I can carve out. You know, it's kind of interesting because... Um it's like um, you 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 see the tears of the marketplace. It's kind of interesting, like you know, it's like you got all these tools out there, but yet you got these business owners that are stuck, you know. Um, and and Justin said something earlier that uh, sometimes it's not the technology, it's the student, right? And what we realize, me and my partner realize, we realize. Um, Technology is only one of the challenges. It's like, how do you get somebody from, how do you get a new entrepreneur? And I think Lamar is, you're solving this partially, right? Where, how do you how do you take a new entrepreneur who is not familiar with digital marketing? For the most part, it doesn't matter what platform you give them. There's, a, there's like an educational process they gotta go through. And what we've noticed was that was a big missing link that we saw. We saw we saw people who had technology wasn't using it because they didn't have the knowledge. You know, we saw people who uh, 
had the technology, but didn't have the right strategy. So we came along and was like, okay, we're going to provide the sh- we're going to provide the technology, and we're going to provide the community, um, and we're going to provide the education. So it's like this triangle, like this whole you know, for lack of a better word, the Trinity, right? The 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 technology, the education, and then the community, because the community is the the people who know how to do this stuff, people who have the knowledge, the people who can do the done for you services. And if we can connect those three together, if we can take a a solopreneur, bring him into this ecosystem, because that's kind of like how we see you, Chef Three Six, the ecosystem. It's like, okay, here's a platform, and then, but it's a business platform, and and we all know just because you bought an accounting system doesn't mean you're going to be the accountant, right? Just because you bought uh, a just because you bought WordPress doesn't mean you're the one who's supposed to build your website. And one of the misconceptions that we saw in the marketplace was a lot of these companies was like, "Hey, you could do this yourself. You could do this yourself. You could do this yourself. You could do this yourself." And entrepreneur was like, "Really? I can?" And then they get this idea. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do it all myself. And when they get started, they get burnt out because they realize this is a heck of a lot of work. And so we were like, "Okay, we're gonna build a platform." And then we're going to make it where you can invite the players you need into the platform to do the stuff that you can't do on your own, but it's still all within your ecosystem. So it's technology, education, and community. And we're bringing all that into the same platform. And we just haven't really seen people doing that um, for our community at a price point our community can afford, and that's black owned. (laughs) Mm, I love it. And Justin, man, what made you... Um, you know, you talked about the inspiration for creating the site and, you know, what got you there. But, but you know, like I said, a lot of people get dismayed and they, and they would think it's too many software companies out there already. I can't compete with them. What, what, what in your mind said, you know what, I can't compete with them. And not just I can compete with them, but I can make a superior product. You know, what I realize about the, the, the beauty about technology is, is that softwares cannot do 20 million things great at one time. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, present, that presented a really big opportunity. And I'll never forget, I was, um, I had wanted to meet this, this guy who was spending, I mean, millions and millions of dollars on traffic. Right. Um, and I wanted to meet him and, um, he was just really good at growing software companies with paid traffic. So I paid to go to this mastermind with this guy. And, um, I'll never forget, I can't, I meet him and I'm like, you know, I got this company called Maestro. We were actually in the revamping process before we relaunched our platform. And I said, hey, I'm thinking about switching gears because I was about to kind of go over to the corporate side a little bit, right? Just switching gears just a little bit. And he said, let me ask you a question. He said, how many markets exist out there? Mm. He said, don't get caught up in people telling you how competitive something is. If you haven't touched every single person on God's green earth with paid traffic. And when he said that, when he said that, I mean, my mind was like, I got caught up in listening to, well, it's this platform, it's that platform. And he said, let me tell you something. There are so many markets. And until you have touched every person in your market, because they, they haven't touched every person. Otherwise they would have hundreds of thousands of customers. Mm, so you yep. still can gain market share. You just got to be smarter. Yep. And when he said that, it completely shifted my mindset. So I guess the lesson for you know entrepreneurs out there is if it's not if it's not crowded, if it's crowded, then it's money in it. That means people still making money. And so for us, you know, we realized the things that we needed to do to pivot and shift and make a superior product or just really focus on our market and what they want. That's the key thing is that you don't have to be everything to everybody. Correct. You just have to be something to your market. And that's what we, that's essentially what we decided to do. And so that's what we're doing now. I love it. Um, Real quick guys, as we wrap, Justin, um, how can people get in touch with you? We've been given a website. We've been showing it while you've been talking, Um, but tell them again, you know, how, where they can find the software and then how they can get in touch with you if they want to connect with you directly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, you know, maestro.com, we spelled, we branded a little bit differently, M-I-E-S-T-R-O.com. And then, um, you know, you could just hit me up on social media, which is facebook.com forward slash Justin Burns. 
and on Instagram, which is the Justin Burns. One of the one of the other brothers, Justin Burns, took the Justin Burns on Instagram. So I had to add the, the dot. <laughs> <laughs> Got to move faster, brother. Got to gotta move, move faster. faster. You better, gotta, gotta you, you better beat him over to TikTok if he ain't there yet. You got to beat him, beat him to TikTok. <laughs> All right, Samuel, how can they uh, learn more about Ushare 360? Um, how can they get in touch with you directly? Yeah, so they can just go to ushare360.com. That's Y-O-U-S-H-A-R-E 360.com. You can also uh, just send me an email if you want to connect directly uh, to uh, info at ushare360.com. And, uh, and we can we can talk. <clears throat> awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, guys, my name is Lamar Tyler, creator and founder of Traffic Sales and Profit. Uh, if you came in late, right, or if you didn't see the whole thing, make sure you go back to the beginning and watch it. We had a great conversation today with Samuel Genius from You Said 360. He's the founder and also the founder of Maestro. Uh, you can find it at maestro.com, Justin Burns. Guys, thank you for being a part of this today. I appreciate you. And then, like I said, for everybody watching, we also going to get both of them back in this week to give you a demo and a walkthrough of their software so they can blow you away tell you more about it. If they're down to do it, if they got time to do it, because they're too busy guys to do it, if they got time to do it, we would love to have them in so they can show you directly. You can see it for yourself, and then you can figure out how this works for your business. All right, uh, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate y'all. Thank you to everybody that tuned in and watched us tonight, and we'll see you. Make sure you check in the group every single day, Traffic Sales and Profit with Lamar Tyler, and make sure you check us out on the web, www.trafficsalesandprofit.com. Peace. Have a great day.